on this episode, I do the show. Chuck, and this is the Ask Gary Vee Show, episode 101. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep doing it, you know. <laughs> for, for you know, it's funny. I had like uh, hardcore, hardcore fans. I appreciate. it, Thank you so much. That literally emailed me the two episodes all time on Wine Library TV where I flirted about retiring. So, it, you know. Old tricks are, are hard to drop sometimes. So thank you so much for everybody who came out for episode 100. It was epic. Thank you to the team. Thank you guys so much. 57 minutes of edited magic. If you have not watched episode 100, it is a huge mistake. DRock, link it up. Uh, India, let's get into the show. Laddie asks, why would people sell clothes on Instagram when people can just go to the actual store to get what you're selling? This is gonna be so fun. <laughs> this new format is gonna be so fun. All right, one more time. What's the name? Latte. <laughs> this is, I'm so pumped we came up with this. Latte. Uh, <laughs> la, latte. Latte? Latte. Latte. Great question. Listen, Lati, the reason this is happening is because marketers ruin everything. Anytime a lot of people pay attention to something and that's what's happening on Instagram, it evolves, right? It started off as artistic photographers doing their thing, then people started moving and kind of putting their selfies and their lives on there, started becoming the new Facebook. And so once there's that much attention, business business people like myself and others can't help it but go in there and try to start selling things to others. It's just the way it is. Now the nice thing about Instagram though is, is that it's not gonna pop up in your feed. You've gotta follow them. So clearly you followed this person or your friend followed this person if they showed it to them. I'm not sure how you saw somebody selling there, but you're more than welcome to unfollow. So, you know, you can take your time and go on Twitter and complain about it, which I love. I love the sass. But the, the fact of the matter is the quick unfollow will keep you away from it, unlike other platforms. I expect Instagram to go that route because that's how you make money. Um, but that's the reason. The reason is because people are paying attention and where people are paying attention is an opportunity to sell. Just like listening to the radio, just like watching TV, just like turning the pages in the newspaper. If you're paying attention, just like going to internet websites with banners, if someone's paying attention, someone's trying to sell. Ryan Andrews says, marketing to the next generation through Facebook is on par with ads in the yellow pages. Anyone disagree? Facebook is dead, what's next? Ryan, hey, it's me, Gary Vee. I, I know we don't know each other, but Alex is gonna be hitting you up with a link to this. I massively disagree. Uh, as a matter of fact, emphatically disagree. I think what's next is people waking up and realizing Facebook is just starting to grow. I have made the mistake many times in my career of the same thing that you're saying on Twitter, which was, I said in 2003, Hey, SCM, Google AdWords is dead, what's next? While Google was just starting, Facebook dark posts, the ability to reach out to everybody. Don't forget, you know, no more, Yellow Pages is more like Google search. You're going there to find something. Facebook's coming to you, you're in a feed and you're seeing it. No more the right side of a desktop website. No, what, I don't even know what this is. This is, like, this is like an artifact, right? And so like, the fact of the matter is no more on the right side of a website, it's coming in your feed and if you know how to target and you know how to create content properly, you win. And so, I would say I, I disagree and number two, what's next is people actually understanding what's really happening in Facebook. Like do it right on spot. So, you explain to any of your fans what, what we're you're doing, doing here. No, but they'll figure it out. <laughs> I, think, I think there's, a, you know, well, you since we don't edit anymore, Steve, this black and white version of it is clearly it's gonna explain what we're doing, which is, you know, cat's out of bag now that fucking Steve ruined it. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on going a little bit of run here of like looking for questions on Twitter. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. And I promise I'll mix in your questions because I appreciate you the most. But we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. And it's also gonna allow me to 
you know, round out the questions because the Vayner Nation, you know, much like me, we get into ruts, we're asking similar questions. You know, let, let's see what, uh, what comes up next. India? This is from Isaiah. Um, Follow my cue here, India. Ask the weird and funny question. <laughs> Weird and funny one? Yes. Oh, I, Go sorry. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pick up on social cues. Gina asks Wait, how does one deactivate Twitter? <laughs> Gina? Gina. Hey, Gina, it's Gary. It's really easy to deactivate Twitter on your phone. It's called deleting the app itself. Hope it works for you. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy says, people ruined the artistic intention of Instagram. Like, now people try to sell a fridge on it. The f <laughs> <laughs> I like how you delivered that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is clearly the theme of the show. Oh, by the way, real quick shout out to Scott. This is an incredible personal wine box. Let's give him personalwineboxes.com shout out. I love how people are hacking me for free promotion. Uh, I feel like a sucker right now, but like, I do love, and, and Chris, this is, this is insane. I mean, Chris Green, this is just a, absolutely insane. Show him up, uh, D-Rock. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I think it's the I think jars the of the, the, like, the almonds and stuff. He, he dismantled it. so good. I wonder if he talked to those legs. <laughs> How about this? I mean, he, does, does Aton know about this? Has he oh, seen yeah. him? Oh, he oh, he's down over with it. Yeah. Listen, I just said it earlier. People are ruining Instagram. People are trying to sell their fridges. People are trying to sell clothes. There was one that I saw. <laughs> Why are people trying to sell food uh, on Instagram? But I didn't think I could stop from laughing through that question from India. The bottom line is attention, attention, attention. That's where the value prop is. You know, the reason I picked both those questions is to thematic size this episode. I don't know what that means, sorry. Grammar police. But the theme of this show, <laughs> yes, you, Steve. The theme of this show is very simple, which is Instagram has the attention. People are gonna sell on it. Get over it. That's what's always gonna happen. And so the reason people are trying to sell you, you a fridge on Instagram is the same reason you asked the question on Twitter which means it caught your attention. Whereas if they tried to sell their fridge on Twitter, I'm not sure it would have. Get it? Quan's Kitchen asks, how many of you guys use Pinterest? We're just finding our feet on it. What would you like to see from Quan's Kitchen? Quan's Kitchen, big shout out to you guys. I love the businesses that are going into the trenches and actually asking their users what they want to see. My friends, all you small businesses out there, all you solo entrepreneurs, Quan's Kitchen, a Chinese restaurant in Scotland, big ups here from the USA, bless you, from USA, America. I am very proud of that execution because you're gonna get insight and see what happens. You know, somebody on the social media team or maybe the owner of Quan's Kitchen is like, hey, let me put this out there and sure enough, some crazy dude decides to pick it up and put it on the show where a lot of people are gonna see it, great exposure. All my Scotland, is that I'm just I'm triple confirming this. Yes, yeah, so all my Scottish friends, please, if you're watching the Ask Gary Show, go visit Quan's, give them some daps. Don't you agree, Steve? Totally agree. Yes. Good. You know, this is a great question. I think Pinterest is an incredibly important platform. I think Pinterest, am I too close to you, D-Rock? No, 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 what are you sad about? I hit my stomach. You hit your stomach with, with, the, with the bar. Yeah. And that's why you had that. It moved. I got it. Quan's, um, Pinterest, my friends, Vayner Nation, everyone who's listening to this, Quan's Kitchen, not Quan's Kitchen, excuse me, D-Rex <laughs> distracting me. Pinterest, Pinterest is the new social network for search, right? It was a social network, it's a search engine. Pinterest is a search engine. People are searching on there and they're getting visual search. Andrew, I see you shaking your head. Get, get in here, get in here, get over here, come over here and give me a hug. <laughs> I, I, was, I, saw you in the I saw you in the corner of my eye. Right? You don't get as much air time as everyone. Why don't you tell, what, kneel down, because I don't like when people are taller than me. I'm already uh, short. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine, but I'm yeah. really short too. Uh, <laughs> tell, tell the Vayner Nation what you do here. I'm the designer for Gary. Uh, yeah. Why were you shaking your head so emphatically? What is your behavior on Pinterest? Well, I'm not a huge Pinterest lover, but designing a lot of your stuff uh, on Pinterest, people will search for it. and. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty important. All right, that was terrible. <laughs> the, the, the bottom line is, uh, 
There will be no Ask Andrew show anytime <laughs> soon. Uh, keep designing. It's on the spot. <laughs> I get it, but I'm tremendous on the spot. Um, <laughs> well, I am, Steve. I'm not disagreeing. Okay, well, thank you. Um, Pinterest, searching. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, uh, D-Rock, over here. <laughs> it's a search engine. It's a search engine, it's visual search. We become all more visual. There's a real visual revolution. And I actually think Google should be shaking in their pants around what's going on in Pinterest. I think Pinterest is a tremendous ad product. So I would say put out a lot of stuff and put out a lot of stuff of your dishes and your meals, but don't make them stock photos. Get them out there. I would make infographics. I would make an infographic of the perfect Chinese food dinner where it's like step one, do this. Step two, like drink water. Step three, try this drink. Step four, you know, like make it fun. Step four, like talk to your friends. Step five, play with the fortune cookie. Like a really fun piece of content that I could see going tremendously well for you. I think infographics over index. I, I think you know photos of the. Here's an incredible thing. If you have a, a, a physical location, what about photos of the street that you're on? That's cool. Just take a nice photo of the street that you're on. What about you taking the lead and taking photos of the fellow business owners around you? There's a lot of creative things. Act like a media company. Put out content that's interesting. Put out content that's valuable to people. Not in your best interest. Not your menu. Not your story. It can't be all about you. It needs to be all about what could they possibly want? Pinterest is growing in the mail demo because it's just valuable. It's converting into a hardcore search engine. It's going to be an enormously big deal. I'm all in on Pinterest. I invested at Vayner RSC in the last round of Pinterest at an $11 billion valuation that I think is underpriced massively. Hi Gary, so I heard to be the best, you have to learn from the best. So, I'm going to be a little bit cheeky here and ask, how do I get a job working for you? <laughs> Great question, and, and it happens all the time. And the reason I want to take this is, as we, you know, obviously after episode 100, I had 12 to 15 people, by the way, that almost fell and broke. I had 12 to 15 people at the show ask me, like, hey, I want to work for you. I'm always flattered by that. I get hundreds of emails a month. And I, you know, and I think it comes down to, there is no right answer. There's plenty of people that have gotten in here by pounding me 15 times and then eventually I get them an interview. But I think that's going like over 47. So that's like an interesting insight to people that pound me 47 times. There's people that just went through the system and just applied and VaynerMedia's website has tons of job openings. Um, I think the one move that a lot of people haven't done other than maybe DRock that I can think of and maybe it's actually really interesting. I wasn't even gonna give this answer. I was gonna go in a different direction. Kevin Rose, founder of Dig, internet personality extraordinaire, uh, great friend, uh, did something super smart. Years ago, he wanted to get into Square. He thought it was gonna be a big company. And Jack didn't let him in. Jack had his homies that came in. So Kevin went out and made a video that was enormously interesting with great insights and things around Square. And it was so viral and it was so strong that that gave him the ability to invest in Square at a very early stage where now it's worth billions on paper. Um, and I've always been fascinated by that. DRock, DRock, how many times did you reach out to do a video for me? One, was it lucky like that? Three. So DRock three times reached out and asked to do a video, paid forward first, made a piece of content, showed me his skills, and then, you know, obviously the rest is history. Now he's like, I mean, I don't know if you guys are paying attention, but like, He's got a bigger fan base than I do. So, uh, you know, look, look, Chris Green now could, like I'd hire Chris Green to make Lego structures for clients at VaynerMedia. I'm not even joking. He's doing his own thing. But if Chris hit me up and said, I want to make Lego-like structures for campaigns at VaynerMedia, I would hire him. Here it is. I see it. I mean, India's hair is long. Like the Starbucks thing. Like Stefan's Brooklyn hat. Like the detail is insanity here. I mean, just crazy. So, so, you know, you know, that, I, I think doing something first is a real hack, um, so give that some thought. Question of the day. What would you like to see happen over the next 100 episodes of the Ask Gary V show and, and I'm really gonna read all these, it's Memorial Day weekend, give me your kind of two to three bullets on the first 100 episodes experience. The value prop, the, it became repetitive, uh, it's better than ever. Like, give me concepts, thoughts, your three bullets on the first 100 episodes. Thank you for being part of this ride. I'm clearly enjoying it. I'm projecting at least 100 more episodes. You keep asking questions, I'll clearly keep answering them.
Cool. That's who people at the show were like, what are you guys going to do now? And I was like, I don't trust you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we're out of the job. Everyone thinks we're fired. Oh, yeah. oh really? Like that yeah. night? Everyone... They're like, what are you going to do? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, India. Do you want to work with me? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>